What's up, Pharmacy Nation? I am Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for listening to the Elective Rotation, a critical care pharmacy podcast. This is episode 359. In this episode, I'll discuss how lactated ringer solution can play a role in managing a sodium bicarbonate shortage. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 359. For patients not affected by septic shock or reduced perfusion, the lactate in lactated ringers will be converted to bicarbonate shortly after being infused. Each liter of lactated ringers contains 28 MEQs of lactate. Here's how it works. Lactate serves as the raw material for regeneration of bicarbonate. The liver metabolizes lactate to glycogen, which is then converted to carbon dioxide and water by oxidative metabolism. This, in turn, generates bicarbonate. Existing sodium ions combine with the bicarbonate ion and it's retained, thus combating metabolic acidosis. Because metabolic conversion of lactate to bicarbonate relies on normal cellular oxidative processes, Lactated ringers is only an effective source of bicarbonate in patients suffering from acidosis without associated septic shock or other disorders involving reduced perfusion of body tissues. The whole process of converting lactate to bicarbonate takes one or two hours under normal circumstances. You can get my six tips for pharmacists responding to codes in my free download area at pharmacyjoe.com free. It's download number 16 on the list. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of the Elective Rotation.